There are several dashboards available on the Snapper toolbar with lots of great real-time information. The main dashboard shows what's going on right now in your UCC. Here you'll see live statistics about the call centre, the agents in the call centre and information about yourself. At the top you have the real-time call centre statistics. Here you can see how many calls have been answered and missed in the UCC today so far. Next, you can see the current queue time and the percentage of calls answered within the service level. In the agent section, you can see how many agents have been assigned to this contact centre. And out of these agents, how many are currently available? Busy, away or offline? To the right of this menu, you have your own personal statistics. This shows how many calls you've answered or missed and how many of your calls were answered within the service level. Call on behalf is just below. You can use this feature to call or chat to a customer on behalf of another UCC within your organisation. The phone number or CLI presented to the customer changes to the UCC that's chosen. For example, if you're a multilingual agent who sits within the French UCC and you want to make an external call to a German customer, you can call on behalf of the German UCC. Therefore, the number associated with the German contact centre will be presented to the customer. After finishing with a customer call from the UCC, you may go into wrap-up mode if this has been configured on your system. Wrap-up time allows you to have a short amount of time to wrap up or complete any admin about your previous call before being made available to the call centre. You can use the plus button to increase your wrap-up time or you can cancel the wrap-up if it's no longer needed. Please remember while you're in wrap-up mode, you will not be offered any more contact centre calls. When your wrap-up has expired, this will show as zero seconds. Lastly, you have reason codes. Here, you can use the drop-down to select a reason code to let the system know why you have made yourself unavailable to the UCC. The present status within Microsoft Teams lets you change your availability for call centre calls. To be offered a call from the queue, you must be set to available in Teams. To make yourself available, click on your profile icon within Teams and select Available from the drop-down menu. You are now available to take calls and other types of contacts, such as web chats or emails. If you need to take a break or go on lunch, you must make yourself unavailable. If your department is using reason codes, this is a two-step process. Change your team's present status to either busy or away to make yourself unavailable for the call queues. Once you've changed your team's present status, you must also choose a reason code to let the call centre know why you're unavailable. To choose a reason code, navigate to the bottom of the main dashboard in Snapper and select a reason code. If you've chosen busy as your team's present status, then choose a reason that is connected to the busy status. These reason codes have a red dot next to it. If you've chosen away as your team's present status, then choose a reason code that is connected to the away status. These reason codes have a yellow dot next to it. When you're ready to take calls again, change your present status back to available in Teams. This will clear both your reason code in Snapper and make you available to start taking customer calls from the call centre queues. The second icon in the Snapper toolbar is the Agent Dashboard. The Agent Dashboard displays live information about the agents assigned to the UCC that is currently chosen. Here you can see all the agents sorted into different tabs. You have all agents, available, busy, away and offline. You'll be able to see agent names, their current state and how long they've been in that state for. You can also see the name of the reason code if they've selected one. 
If formal agents are being used, only agents that are logged in will be seen here. If informal agents are being used, all agents will be listed here, including offline agents. This may cause a long list under the All Agents section. The third icon on the Snapper toolbar is the Calls Overview tab. Here you can see more detailed queue information and further real-time statistics about the call centre. The displayed information includes all answered calls, missed calls as well as the average queue time and the percentage of calls answered within the service level. Underneath are all the customer calls, chats and conversations currently taking place within the call centre. This is great to see the customer's journey from entering the IVR all the way to being connected to an agent. You can see all incoming conversations including phone calls, chats and emails. Customers within this section are currently listening to the IVR and haven't selected an option yet. Customers that have chosen an option and are currently waiting in a queue are displayed in the waiting section. From here, you can also take a particular call from the queue and connect with that customer directly. Navigate to the waiting section and hover over a particular call. Select the phone icon next to the call to take the call from the queue. You're now talking to the customer. Under the connected section are all the customers currently talking or chatting to an agent. If you're a supervisor, you'll be able to silently monitor the agents from here. You can also filter the skill column further to show just the calls from a particular department. If your company is using the quality monitoring feature, customers that have finished their call with the agent will be transferred to the quality monitoring section. Next, we have the call history. Here we can view any previous calls. These can be sorted by incoming, outgoing and missed. Details such as the date and time the call was received and the phone number of the customer will be displayed. If the customer was internal, you'll be able to see their present status. For incoming and outgoing calls, you'll also be able to see the call duration. Select a call to see further actions that are available. The green phone icon enables you to call the customer back. Under the three dots, you have two further options. Delete the call and see the call history. If the call is deleted from the Snapper toolbar, the call recording and information about the call is still stored in the backend SharePoint site and will still be reported on within the Power BI reporting tool. To view the call history between yourself and the customer, select Get Call History. Please be aware that if you have deleted the call history, some information may be missing. A missed call is identified by the red phone icon. If the call you've selected is a missed call, you also have the option to mark the call as handled. By marking a missed call as handled, it gives you a great visual to show that you've dealt with this call. This could be by either calling the person back or perhaps a colleague has dealt with this call for you. To mark a missed call as handled, click on the tick icon. It will now appear greyed out. Selecting the tick again will unhandle the call. 